Hey Flosstube, Elena B here, uh, just back from Paris, um, and uh, wanted to share my haul with you. I'd originally recorded this um, while I was in Paris, but I just uploaded it and I you can barely hear me. Um, which may be a good thing, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I figured um, it would be better off just to, just to redo it. Um, so I was in Paris for a week with uh, my dad. Um, we were on a work trip. Um, every one to two years, depending on how the bakery is doing, we do a um, research and development trip to, to somewhere. Um, uh, last year, yeah, I think it was last year, we did uh, two weeks in Japan. Um, and this year it ended up being Paris because where else would you go than Paris for pastry? So while I was there, we also had some downtime um, for me to be able to go and check out the three main st stitch shops, um, Parisian LNSs, um, that I, I could find. And suffice it to say, they, they were amazing, magical. Uh, sure, they're in Paris, which makes it kind of swanky, but the way that they set up their LNSs um, is completely different. So... Yeah, I am, I first, um, I didn't think I was gonna make it to all three because all three were in completely different parts of the city and all in completely different parts of the city from where we were. We were on one side of the CN and they were on the other. Um, but my dad was a super trooper and he went to two out of three. I wasn't gonna go to the third one because honestly I spent so much money um, in the second one that it was a little dicey about going to the third. So I will not be paying my AT&T bill until the next pay period. They're gonna have to wait two days. Um, and uh, I will be, um, I will be crock potting a very large uh, batch of beef burgundy today. And that will be my food until my next paycheck. Was it worth it? I'd like to think so. Uh, yeah. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Again, I don't speak French. I cannot pronounce any of these names of these stores in French. So I'm going to refer to them as store one, two, and three. And then below here, I will put the name of it. And down below, I will put a link to the shop as well as the address. Um, so if you decide that you're going, to, you're going to go to Paris, if you have a trip planned up, if you are living in France and didn't know about these stores, uh, what have you, um, you'll have all the information. And again, feel free in the comments if you have any specific questions. I am more than happy to answer them if I can. Um, but yeah, a lot of this stuff is in French and ugh, woof. I, I wouldn't even know where to start. It would be embarrassing. Okay, so... First store, store number one. Ugh. Um, I also posted uh, pictures of these stores on my Instagram as well as Stitch Mania. Um, so yeah, I will. I'll try to maybe edit some of them in. Um, but if you belong to Stitch Mania or you follow me on Instagram or want to, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, just beautiful. The way the way that they do it is. This first store was magical. I mean, their Christmas display. Like, it was, you walk in, with the exception of the second store, but the first and the third store were kind of out in the middle of the no nowhere. Um, this first one was, was in a part of Paris that you no know, tourist would have a reason to be in. And um, it was a very large space. They had, um, finishes all all over the walls. I wish I would have known to take more pictures of them. My sister my sister was texting me like where are all the pictures of the finishes and um, I didn't even I didn't even think about it. Um, but they were they were beautiful. They did not speak English. Um, they did speak the language of Visa. So there's that. Um, and uh, I was basically just left alone to look around. If you have any questions, you might want to speak French. Um, I was surprised because they predominantly sold kits. I've never bought a kit before. Uh, of course, while I was shopping, I was also shopping for my sister, Olivia B. And um, Olivia did not really strike me as the kit person. Uh, she loves patterns. She told me to specifically look for patterns. 
um, but I didn't really see any patterns that really struck me um, as being something that she would want and these kits were not cheap like a full-size tablecloth kit cost about $160 US and um, the smallest kit cost about $20, $22 US. So buying someone a kit and not knowing if they're actually going to want to stitch it for that price was a little dicey. Um, but yeah, they had very limited, limited single patterns, a lot of different flosses, but not, not like the floss that we can get here. Um, the overhand eyed floss. I didn't see that at all on the trip. Um, I did see a lot of specialty scissors that were beautiful, but also they started at about $120 um, for the really nice ones. So I basically have just stuck to patterns when I could find them. And again, some small magazines, books, that kind of thing. Um, okay, store number one. Okay, um, first I bought myself, yeah, no, I don't have it here. Um, so because I like, I really like vintage, retro, vintage remake, whatever have you. Um, this was kind of an, an easy one. Um, Veronique Enginger. That's, that's my pronunciation of it. So I found this book. Um, it's like a, it's a thin, soft book with lots of different projects in it. Let me flip through. Um, like some of them. <laughs> So I have to say like you are you are the Martha Stewart of cross stitching like this one right here which are um, napkin rolled uh, place settings you know so if you're gonna have a brunch and you want to do instead of like little place cards you're gonna cross stitch each individual napkin holder more power to you um, it has some tablecloth stuff let me see what I can show you that isn't an actual pattern um, like a tea box and then you go ahead and you can stitch each individual tea. I mean like I, I don't know I'm not gonna do that although I do collect teas which was the second thing that I bought a lot of while on the trip um, let's see. I don't I don't know what this is if that looks like it's all like a like a order for a table or what but pretzels and little women I don't know so anyway it's really cool. They have a lot of tablecloths, a lot of uh, tea towels, a lot of labels for cookies. Um, this is awesome. The seasons, little season cards. So yeah, I got that. And I want to tell you that this was $12, which I feel like not bad. And the next one was a, um, a petite point Merry Christmas looks like that that was $15 I hope it's not weird that I'm telling you how much I paid for it but I feel like that's a question that's gonna come up um, and who doesn't who doesn't like to know the price my dad always says ask for the price first and whenever I don't it always gets me in trouble um this one has everything from Christmas stockings to like tea light candle holder projects. I've never finished anything other than to basically hand it over to my boyfriend Serge and have him frame it. Um, so I, I really think that a lot of it, unless, I don't know, I'm no Vonna Pfeiffer. Vonna Pfeiffer, you were my lady crush, gotta tell you. Um, but instead of, unless I'm gonna send it to Vonna Pfeiffer, um, to finish it and I don't even know if she's taking new people on but anyway um yeah I'm not sure I'm not sure Serge is extremely crafty so uh, maybe he'll turn it into a candle holder who knows I got enough stuff here to stitch for a while but I thought that was a really cute cute book I'm trying to not buy as much Christmas stuff right now because I kind of went balls out so yeah um because I wasn't sure what I was going to find at the other stores and I was really kind of nervous and, um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, it was like, I was frazzled every time I stepped in one of these stores. It was sensory overload. So because I didn't know what I was going to find in the other stores and I really wanted to get stuff for my sister because she's been so supportive throughout this whole entire thing. Um, I grabbed her this kit. 
And this is for, um, it's a little pouch. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the glare. There we go. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's an easy stitch. The pouch comes with it, with the threads and the charms. Um, so yeah, and I figured that, uh, the name in the store, if I say the name, what I think the name is pronounced, it's going to come out sounding like something totally different, but it looks like Le Bonheur de Dames. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I am sorry, France. And the whole entire language of French. Um, but yeah, I figured Olivia could switch it out to an O and a B for Olivia B. So I got her that. This was, this kit was $41. Um, I, this might be inexpensive to all of you. This is not inexpensive to me. This stuff was pricey, in my opinion. Probably totally worth it and definitely didn't, you know, saved on shipping. But yeah, then I got these two kits, which um, I thought were adorable. I was really kicking myself for not buying a third. Um, and almost went back. But then after going to all three shops, I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. So they're mushrooms. Um, this one right here, little like toadstool mushrooms. Uh, Olivia, I forced Olivia many years ago to collect gnomes under the theory that once you start telling people that someone collects something, then they get inundated with it. And at the time I thought it would be hilarious if Olivia ended up being like a gnome lady. So this goes with the gnomes. And by the way, my theory was totally right. Olivia has a lot of gnomes now. Oh yeah. Sisters, what can you say? So yeah, this one right here, that one's for Olivia. I'm trying to hold this out of the glare without taking it out of the package. Um, and these little kits, that come with linen. Looks like, no, they have slubs. It's not even wheat. Anyway, but it's linen. And um, they were about 22 a piece. And then this I got as well. And that's uh, for a stitchy friend. And they're just little, some other kind of mushroom. The one I really should have bought also was chanterelles. When my dad saw these, he was like, there, by the way, there was like what would be kind of effectively like a mushroom sampler. It was huge and it was all just mushrooms and then the names of the different mushrooms and it was intense and it was about a hundred dollars. It was a kit and I don't have any like connection to mushrooms, but it was gorgeous. And when we left, I was showing my dad the finished one that they had on the wall and um, he's like, oh man, I would have loved to, I would have loved to put that up in the kitchen. And I was like, should have bought it. Should have bought it. Anyway, you know, what can I say? So that was the first store and that was it. That was it. Because it was all kits. Um, yeah. It was beautiful though. It was totally worth it. It took us an, over an hour to walk there and then over an hour to walk back. And it was beautiful. We saw a lot of beauty. I mean, it's Paris. There's, there's not a lot of ugly parts. Um, and it was a beautiful fall day. We got lucky and it was, it was gorgeous. All the leaves were turning colors and it was about, I want to say between 52 and 60 the whole entire time we were there. We just got done with a really big heat wave in California. So it was great to be able to wear a coat and to not just constantly be sweating. It was just beautiful to have a different season than summer. Okay, so store number two, a little bit easier for me to say, this is probably the most well-known, um, is Saju. Yeah, that looks right. I just keep looking down because my, all my stuff is down here on the ground. Um, and this was more in like a, kind of like a hipster area. They had a few of them. Same with the first store, they had a few locations. So we went to Saju. Uh, on the way, it was awesome because we found a bookstore that was just gourmet books. So the first floor was all cookbooks in different languages from different countries, different styles of food. Um, they had a cookbook that was just octopus. They had a book that was just herbs. They had a book that was just cheeses. Um, it was amazing. And then the whole upstairs was just pastry books. So we bought a couple of those and they were really affordable. The pastry books that we get um, are usually anywhere between $75 to $130. They're hard bound, what kind of looks like coffee table books. And we were able to pick them up for 20 to $30. So 
they're really heavy. Um, but it was it was a magical, magical place that, of course, we would have only found if we were on our way to that second stitchy shop. So yeah, Saju. Um, I picked up picked up a little bit of everything. So I picked up this little kit for a little box. There we go. Um, it is does that focus? It's a dahlia. I like dahlias. My favorite flowers are peonies, but um, dahlia is a close second. So I didn't break it, I swear. Um, so a little box. I would say a uh, like aubergine uh, faux crocodile pattern. Um, and then a little piece of fabric in the pattern. And then what I discovered while doing the first original floss tube was that they give you all of the floss Oh, sorry all in one bobbin I don't know what I was expecting but that just seems like I'm gonna have to unbobbinate the whole entire thing and separate it and I don't know everyone else is probably like why would that bother you but I don't know that just kind of to me is like oh great that's that was that was awesome. I mean, I guess you wouldn't include all those bombs, but couldn't you put them separated in a little cellophane bag? Fine. Whatevs. Okay. Um, I got these. Super cute. I love these. And I want to say that I bought three packs of them because I also wanted to send them um, in some stitchy mail. But I might be super selfish and keep them. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so six in a pack. And these were about these were about 10 bucks so yeah definitely not your regular plastic bobbins but I think they're pretty worth it so I got these sorry for the glare everybody but you know without taking them out of the bag um yeah just cute yeah it's on a little bicycle these which I love these are definitely staying with me because they're kind of creepy yeah no clue you know the French Hey. And of course these, the Eiffel Tower. So yeah, I feel like if you're doing a six color project, you got a pretty cool kit if you're using those bobbins. So yeah, those were, those were with it. Also, Saju mug. I drink a lot of tea. Mmm, almost tastes better in there. I got this for Olivia, just a little notebook with some Victorian ladies on it. Olivia should have been born a Victorian lady, I feel like. Saw it, reminded me of her. What are you gonna do? Okay, so these next um, ones are, I bought five patterns. Super cool how they're packaged, packaged in these. First one, is uh, this one, sorry, it kind of shows the pattern on there, but if you're able to stitch it from this, I give you a lot of credit. Um, yeah, flowers with ribbons. I thought this was pretty. Um, these were $12 a piece. Some of them more. Um, this one right here, which is uh, like a flower sampler. I thought that would be pretty. I would not do it on light pink fabric, that's for sure. These two I've already planned out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super excited and these are staying in my apartment. Um, poppies, and I wanna stitch that on black. I think the colors would pop really well. And then the dahlias, same ones like on the box, that as well on black. Maybe on navy, I don't know, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a dark color. I just thought they were really pretty. They had a bunch of different flowers. It was really difficult for me to pick two. Um, the good part about this trip was that it really did make me have to assess. So I would just start picking stuff up and starting to pile. And then I would go through and be like, okay, am I really going to stitch that? Or do I know someone who's actually really going to like that? Where on 123 Stitch, it's like click, click, click. It's all in a basket. Sure, that sounds good. And then this one, which... I thought it was herbs when I bought them, like a ding dong, but I have no idea what they are. So if you know what they are, that's cool. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty. They had made it into a pillow. Y'all know I don't know how to make a pillow, so I'd probably just frame it and put it in the kitchen. Um, but I thought it was nice. 
Again, not gonna not gonna put that on light pink. I don't do pastels. I'm sure you didn't guess that. Um, okay, so that was uh, Saju, and they spoke fluent English. Um, were extremely helpful. Uh, there was a lot in that store. Um, again, I posted pictures to Stitch Mania and Instagram, um, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe somewhere in here. I will put a photo montage. Okay, so um, after that, that was a lot of money. That was more money than the first store. And at that point, I had spent all my money except for 40 euros. Because I was smart and only only brought... I figured I'd only spend cash. Um, and so I posted as much to Stitch Mania. Saying like, hey, second store. I was going to go to third, but I don't think I can do it. And then as the sweet enablers that this community is... Um, People were like, no, you got to go do it for us. And yeah, so this one is for you guys. This was the last store. This was really out in, I want to say it was out in the middle of nowhere, but there was nothing else really around it. And my dad tapped out on this one. And I think that's probably why I spent the most money there was he was not, he was not sitting inside the shop being like, that seems like a lot. Um... So yeah, okay, here we go. <sighs> I really enjoyed the, the store. Um, they speak fluent English. I'm pretty sure from what I, what I could gather, it's um, two wonderful women who own the store. They are only open Wednesday through Friday from I think 1, 1 until maybe like 6.30 or something like that. Um, so if you plan on going to Paris and visiting the shop Wednesday through Friday, it is totally worth figuring your schedule out around their, their odd hours. Um, they were so friendly. They told me to take as many pictures as I wanted, as video if I wanted, and uh, to tag them in it because that they would like to see it. I explained to them about Floss Tube, which they hadn't heard about before and um as well as about stitch mania and that there were you know thousands of um, stitchers on stitch mania and they thought it was super cool uh, by the time i left the store one of the owners had asked me about um, apartment swapping and uh that you know she would come and visit san francisco and then i could use her house in paris um <laughs> so again such a generous community all across the globe you gotta love it but it was a wonderful experience. It was very personable, um, and it's a very cute shop. And their stuff is, their stuff is amazing. Um, it was right up my alley, and it was worth every penny. Every penny. There were a lot of pennies. Uh, okay, so first I will start off with. I'll kind of go through how I actually pick the stuff out. So they had on one side of the shop, they had a whole area um, with baskets. It's all very, everyone does such a good job displaying their stuff. Like it's not just a room with, um, with just a bunch of stitchy stuff. Like they, they, every one of these stores was curated into like just a beautiful, a beautiful selection of floss and patterns. Um, and this store luckily had primarily, they had some kits, but they primarily just had patterns. Um, so they had these bins full of tea towels you could stitch. And with different prices on them, so there are different like price levels. And you picked your pattern, and then you picked your fabric. And they, you had a choice between linen and Ada. You would be proud to know that I've been stitching a lot on linen lately, so I picked all linen, like a big girl. Okay, so first one is this again. Sorry for the glare. It is a teacup with petty fours coming out of it. I cannot see what I'm showing you. There we go. Sorry. Yeah. Super cute. Sorry, that's not like the best depiction of it, but. And this is the tea towel. Um, this was about uh, $25. And that one's going to Surge. Surge loves two things, tea and petty fours. Tea and petty four tea towel, just something like the thing. Another one, this one I loved. Whew, I'm so excited about this one. And that is uh yeah bowls and uh a nice border on it it's very cute so 
I am so sorry about that. There we go. There we go. Um, lots of different colors, which you know I love. They had a red version of this, a blue version, and then the multicolored. So you know I want the multicolored. Detail. This one was about 27. I'm either keeping that for myself or stitching that for my mom. I don't know. Um, and then, and then more. I'm sorry, I'm just checking if I can do something about the lighting. I bought some of these for me and some of these to send out. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I won't say which ones for who because that would ruin the surprise. But I do want to show them all off because I'm really excited about them. Um, so this one right here, kind of like a, a Dutch little Bo Peep type deal. Also came in a blue version. And um, I picked up this red one. And then, of course, I bought it with my sister in mind. And her first thing when she saw it was like, oh, I would totally stitch that in blue. <sighs> Should have known. But, uh, yeah, super cute. I want to say that was like 10. Not sure. Um, got this one, a little Christmas wreath with a little girl. I also thought they had some really cool wreath ones that I loved. Um, and luckily some of them they didn't have. And she's like, oh, well, I can print it off right, you know, real quick for you. And I was like, nope, don't, because I don't know how much this is all going to total up to. So this one, thought that was really cute. A lot of these don't look like they're, you know, it doesn't look like a BAP, a big ass project. This one right here I thought was beautiful. Another Christmas wreath. Yeah, sorry, I should pull out a little bit. There we go. Loved that. This one I thought would make a good Christmas gift. Little girl in her basket, Bone Noel. I wanna say it was way more vivacious than the Parisian one, but we got back in last night and I've already been to work and done the Thanksgiving menu for the bakery, the Christmas menu for the bakery, and all the holiday scheduling, which is like the world's worst puzzle. Um, so, Sorry, this is not a little bit more jazzy. I slept like 14 hours yesterday. I got I got back to Serge's apartment and um, I fell asleep, woke up long enough for him to cook me dinner. <laughs> God bless him. And um, then immediately fell back to sleep only to wake up at four o'clock this morning for work. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, it took a lot of effort just to get the lipstick on today. Um, I got this one for myself and I kept thinking, should I put it back? Am I really gonna stitch it? But I just, I just loved it too much and I already know where I wanna put it. Um, is this one right here. Vintage fashion, everything that I love. Yeah, so that one for sure. Okay, and then I bought this and it was the one thing that did not have a price and I didn't care. They had several versions of it and either flowers or fruit. And I forced myself to only pick one because I wanted them all. This right here, sorry, again for the glare, maybe it's not better. Oh, I don't know guys, I'm so sorry. But it's, um, it's cherries, it's like a study of cherries. There we go, is that better? There we go, sorry. Mm. Anyway, I loved it. Um, it's not necessarily a kit. It just comes with a linen. That's going in the kitchen. It's going on the kitchen wall. This was the first time that I saw so many things that I'd want to stitch for my actual home. Usually I, I stitch stuff that would be for someone else. And I'm like, I, where would I put this? Uh, but this was like, I'm going to have to make wall space. And then I bought these. These were, um, these are project folders from the shop. That is the name of the shop. Oh, this damn glare is just driving me crazy. I got one for myself and one for Olivia. Because I'm a sister that shares sometimes. Um, yeah, and they have three compartments. They had smaller ones for on the go. Um, it says una more to, to point. I mean, like, for the love of cross stitch. I mean, come on. So yeah, I highly suggest. If I was gonna go to one store, it would have been that third shop. Um, just based on the fact that there was so much stuff that I liked. They're fluent English and just how unbelievably welcoming and awesome they were and how excited they were that I was so excited about their shop. Um, the other shops were, were 
were friendly, but they really didn't care that you were there or not. Um, which is fine. I mean, let's be honest. Oh, last thing. Before, before I went on the trip, um, I got some mail and I really wanted to share it. So one of them was this, which I could have gotten in France, but I actually didn't see the whole entire trip. And this is um, the kind of general book from Veronique uh, Ginger. And it is, I don't think I shared this in the last video. Um, it is magical. Uh, it has a little bit of everything. And I have to say, I'm trying to find it. I have to say that the way that they, these patterns are just kind of, they're not, I don't mean that they're weird, but they're just different. And I like that. So like this one, which is a study of geodes. Geodes, is, did I say that right? or a study of seashells. I mean, you know, I don't know. That's awesome. Um, but there's one in particular that I just couldn't believe how well they did the colors on it where you can see the light to the point that, oh, you know this is going to Olivia. Just a bunch of gnomes. Even Olivia saw it and was like, <laughs> yeah, I've already stitched her gnomes before, but I feel like it's necessary. Yeah, it's this one. Just the way that they did the light and gave it a three-dimensional kind of look, I just thought was pretty neat. I love this. It would also go in my kitchen. My kitchen is bright red, and then it has um, green and white polka dot curtains. Everything's done in green, white, and red. So this would be this would this would go well. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about this book. I feel like there was something really cool. Oh, this one I want to stitch for Serge's mom, who is Russian. So anyway, this book is is neat. I got it off of Amazon, and um, we'll include a link for it. And I think I paid forty dollars for it, which I'm sure it would would have been a lot cheaper if I found it in Paris. But um, for forty bucks, this was totally worth it for me. I feel like there's a lot I can stitch, um, and I'm very excited for it. All of the colors on all of these projects are in DMC. So yeah. And speaking of DMC, I know a lot of people have posted on Stitch Mania that there's been a sale and that DMC is now selling these. Um, I got the DMC color catalog with actual floss. It's beautiful. I mean, I was at work when this came and I showed it to the employees and even they thought it was awesome. I mean, I think I might just take it to Home Depot and ask for like paint chips for, for my apartment. But yeah, and they even, um, even do the metallics. So I paid full price for this and then it went on sale. Um, free shipping, free three day shipping. But this thing is awesome. Um, when switching out colors for a few projects that I have, a few new whips, cause I did not stick to what I said. I have moved on from Lantern Lane. And I am just about to finish Turkey Bay. But on these new projects, I wanted to use some um, hand, dyed, hand over dyed floss. You know what I mean. Um, and I used this to help me decide. Uh, this book right here is of a Scandinavian artist, um, Jerry Roop. Jerry Roop, cool chick. And it is from Japan. And um, it is basically, it is basically a bunch of chubby Santas, and that is adorable. Ornaments, chubby Santa ornaments on little hoops. I think I think Serge would be able to make those. And the um, patterns are just in general, they're just adorable. I really like that. Let's be honest though, stitching all that blue would suck. Oof, gosh, that. And yeah, I mean, so super cute. I have no idea what this book's called, guys, because it's in Japanese. I got it off of Etsy and uh, I'm really excited about it. This is gonna definitely have to probably wait until next Christmas. Like I said, I bought a lot of Christmas stuff. And then needle minders. Now I got four more from uh, Sunspot Creations. 
I really like Sunspot Creations needle binders. Those were the ones I was really excited about last time. My Angry Baby and uh, my Monster Heart and all of that. Um, and I bought four. Two of them are being sent out um, in Stitchy Post. But uh, these, these I'm pretty sure I'm keeping. Unless I'm like, oh, someone needs an otter with a hat. But um, the hedgehog stays with me. An otter and a hedgehog. And the hedgehog is basically dressed like Colonel Sanders. <sighs> Someone was saying to me, wow, you, you sure, you sure have, do you think you have enough needle minders? You know, they're small, okay? And it turns out that my coffee table is magnetic. So I can just say that they're like an accessory for that. Honestly, I don't need to make an excuse. Enough said. Enough said. Okay. Colonel Sanders the Hedgehog. I gave them names. I already forgot what they are. Uh, so yeah, that is the Paris update. And um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to leave all of the information down below. And yeah, if you are just joining me for this, because you saw the pictures on Stitch Mania, um, welcome to my floss tube. And um, thank you for watching. I hope this uh, was informative, informative and enjoyable. And I hope that I'm able to enunciate better tomorrow when I'm not nearly as exhausted. Uh, yeah. So on that note, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are well. And um, until next time, which will be soon because I want to share my uh, whips. Um, toodles. <laughs>